y'all. That was a cold, cold night. Also, Henry there looks insane. <laughs> We're supposed to leave earlier, but too cold. Also, we had to wait till the sun hit the tent. Also, I think the trail for the next few days, hopefully, seems like it's going to be pretty easy. So I don't really think we have to like, get up early. But Watch, it'll be washed out, rocky, rooty. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Apparently, the tent was frozen this morning. I didn't see that. But now the ice is melted. <laughs> that reporting's coming from Henry, a high quality reporter. So one of the bad things about trail runners is how fragile they are. Um, and you can see it's starting to flake off there. Um, they do create micro trash. I try to pick these little fuzzies off before they actually be, you know, fall off by themselves. Uh, yesterday I noticed that this was loose. I was going to glue it, but I was busy yesterday. And then unfortunately this one was on yesterday, but fell off. Which I feel bad about. So I'm going to try to super glue this one and maybe these. Um, and I also do try, I do pick fairly frequently up uh, pieces of other people's shoes I find. So I'm trying to keep at least net zero balance of shoe litter. But yeah, that's a big one that fell off. This one's doing better. This is chicken spring rake. Chicken Spring Lake, which I've actually been here, May 2018. Not sure which day hike, but we came here and went back. Maybe it was incorporated to our backpacking trip. Such fuzzy memories of that. It's uh, weird how a relatively ordinary place like this can seem so familiar. Like I remember that tree. This I've tree. <laughs> this very tree. Yeah. Cool. Wow. All right, guys. You didn't think I'd finish the PCT without coming up with one last harebrained scheme, did you? Well, I came up with one, and I'm here to share it with you. Today is Monday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. The next day is Wednesday. Today, we were supposed today and tomorrow we're supposed to go between 15 and 20 miles. Uh, and then on Wednesday, we're supposed to get into the general store, ideally on the early side, so that we can, you know, have dinner there, do some laundry, etc. So that was the plan. And then I got to thinking, what if we did 33 miles for my 33rd birthday tomorrow? Would be pretty fun, eh? So, did some calculations did some mapping out of tent sites, and there's a perfect tent site in just under 11 miles from here. So I think the plan is we're gonna go there, we're gonna set up camp, we're gonna enjoy whatever free time we have, we're gonna get to bed early, we're gonna get up early, and we're gonna go 33 miles for my 33rd birthday. And the best part is that uh, our rides and stuff are set up for us to get in on Wednesday. So worst case scenario, if we're not having a good time or something happens or it's too much or whatever, then we'll just abandon ship and get in on Wednesday as planned. Perfect. We have entered a much drier section of trail. Uh, the next like five water sources for the next like 10 miles are all, you have to leave the trail going little spurs. We've been spoiled being in the the high Sierras, and uh, yeah, now now it's starting to be like corral you can filter from. Water's yellow, but tastes okay. And that type of stuff. Oh yeah, here's a little fence thing. This might be a corral situation. It's been a while since we've done this. This is a public corral. Needs a little work. But I like incorporating that part of it on. And I hear voices. This uh, terrain is very odd. It's just gravel, but with trees growing out of it. 
Very interesting. There's a nice view of uh, Langley. Beautiful. Wow, Pamela and I got cruising. This trail's been very cruisy, and Pamela's been walking very fast. We got cruising, got in a, a kind of a just <laughs> discussion for the sake of discussion, and uh, blew right past the water source. So I gotta go back. Point three, I think. It's kind of funny. Very nice cruisy trail. Beautiful day. Oh, it's wonderful. Dang, this is the water source. I'm gonna keep going down further. Hopefully it gets better. All right, it looks more clear here. Don't know if the quality is any different, but I'm gonna filter from here. These rocks are pretty cool. Trail goes through them right there. Look at how cool this is. There's just like all these rocks you're walking through. Let's see what's around the corner. If there's anything else exciting. Looks like more rocks. Still exciting. Definitely a change of scenery. Oh, and you can look out there. Let's see. So you can see out to the left, there's some kind of, let's see. It looks like a, lake or reservoir of some kind. Hmm. It's a nice view. There's some cool trees and those rocks I was showing you. Yeah, this is awesome. Look at that. On the other side of that reservoir. Wow. I think this is our first PCT view of this valley in a long, long time. Also, for the last, I don't know, day or so, I've been seeing just all these rocky outcroppings. I wanna climb them all. Hopefully there'll be one near our camp tonight. So many things. This stump, it's a work of art. Then we have to actually walk through this these towers. Wow. No one told me this was coming. This is amazing. Wow. I was just informed this is Owens Lake and it's never wet. So interesting. Welcome to an episode of Peak Bagging with Hank Lather, which Hank Lather tries to nab a sunset view. This is truly an inconsequential peak. Well, I probably won't stop with it. Pretty gnarly climbing peak, fixed from this angle. Anyway, this site's so cool. I can't believe this might be our last night at camp. It's crazy. It's a really nice camp spot. There's some nice trees, and there's really nobody else here. And I think there's going to be a really pretty sunset. Henry just went to go do some exploring. I think I'm going to blow up the pad and get my stuff in the sleeping bag, and then I might go. Actually, I'm going to walk over there right now and see if I can see the sunset. So I can't go up there, but I can sit here and watch the sunset. Wow, what a cool area. Maybe I can get up there. That'd be nice. Wow, it's so vibrant. It's like a fancy Easter egg. Look at the ombre.
ombre. I love it. There's some little mountains over there that have some nice light on them. Kind of hard to see. But that's really gorgeous. I am taking this opportunity to write Pamela's birthday card and uh, make sure the necklace I got her is still intact after uh, uh, two months of hiding it in my backpack. <laughs> anyway, it's, I don't think I've ever written a birthday card in a more beautiful location. Here's what I'm looking at. Big stack of rocks. Incredible sunset. Trees down below and a rock with some really cool moss. Come on. Not moss, like or whatever it is. It's incredible. I made this little pouch out of uh, New York Times crossword puzzles taped together and inside in a bag. Oh, that was good thinking. To keep it waterproof. Our, our gift and the uh, card. Last night on the trail, and I uh, I blew up my side of the air mattress in just two puffs of the bag, which is a challenge. Usually it's three. I'm pleased. All right, here's my dinner tray. This is what it usually looks like, but. You know, feeling a little nostalgic on the last night here, so we got our potatoes, we got our tuna, we got our Nutella. I ate half the potatoes, and then I ate the tuna packet, and then I ate the other half of the potatoes, and then I have some dessert. A balanced meal. Okay, so somehow, sometimes these electrolyte packets get... Um, a little wet so the sugar and salt just form a, a solid that's hard to get out usually you can force them out of the bigger ones but i cut lengthwise and removed the drip drop stick from its wrapper put in my water bottle where hmm maybe it will dissolve by morning i guess i'll shake it and see <laughs> it's just sitting there hello coming to you all from under the quilt um First of all, I just finished dinner, and I can honestly say I will miss this dinner. I know I had a brief rejection of the potatoes up in Washington. It was really only for maybe a week. week or two. And, uh, yeah, I love them again, and I've loved them ever since then, and I'm going to miss them. And there may be some days that I just need to have half a packet of cold Idahoan and a packet of tuna for dinner so yummy anyway um the other thing is that I miscalculated about the whole 33 mile thing and it turns out we're currently less than 33 miles away from Kenny Meadow South now we're pretty close it's 32.2 so not so far but not close enough that it would round to 33 so that's the bad news but the good news is that from where we finish, where like where we finish what we're doing, aka where we got off, um, it's point eight to the general store where we're camping. So technically, hiking in general, I'll be doing exactly thirty three, um, but only thirty two point two of those will be on the PCT. So that's all right. I will survive.